Guys, I just had in my heart that I wanted to share with you uh, something exciting going on um, with our BGMC giving this year and a heart of missions in our church. Um, you know, a few weeks ago, I talked to you about the goats that we're raising money for to send to India. And I think right now we've sent right about 28 goats, which is amazing, miraculous. So praise the Lord for that. And thank you for joining us in that project. But I also had to share something so exciting um, with you that has just happened in recent weeks. We were looking for a project at the end of the year besides our GOAT project um, where to send a sum of money and a project that wasn't necessarily ongoing but that we could just totally pay for to bless a missionary. And so I had asked um, Springfield, where BGMC is located, um, they're in our general off the big wig office, <laughs> for projects. Um, for Iowa projects through BGMC and they sent me back an email with Idaho projects and I thought Is this a slight? You know Iowa, Idaho and Ohio were not the same state. Okay, come on people get it together, Missouri So I emailed back and I said um, I was looking for Iowa projects. I'm from Iowa not Idaho <laughs> So they sent me back the Iowa projects. Well, there was some we were already involved in, a few were ongoing, and um, so I contacted some of those missionaries and we were able to help them in smaller ways. But I thought, man, we're looking for a big project, Lord. And so out of curiosity, I looked back at the mistaken email for the Idaho projects, okay? And I looked and there at the very bottom was a project for a missionary named Daryl Blatchley, who's in the Philippines and he is part of a ministry called Family Circus. And I had kind of known about Family Circus when I was in college at North Central. They've been around for a long time, about two decades in the Philippines. And they have always been faithful and doing good work there. And when I saw his name on that mistaken email, the Lord just spoke to my heart. He's the one. He's the one. And so I said, Pastor, I see that there, there's a guy who needs a roof. Can I contact him? And the pastor said, well, sure. See, I imagine Pastor is Woody, you know, the, the gallant Texan. He said, well, sure, see how much he needs. So this was a Friday in October. I messaged Daryl. He messaged me right back in not really usual missionary behavior. <laughs> but he messaged me right back. And he, I said, I'm Courtney from Iowa. You don't really know me, but I got an email about you by mistake, and I think God wants us to help you. How much do you need for your roof? And he emailed me right back, and he had this itemized list of like tar and all sorts of roofy things. I probably shouldn't have said roofy. Anyway, so roof like things. And he said, We need $17,000. And so I said, Pastor, mm. this was all in a Friday afternoon. I said, Daryl said they need $70,000. He goes, tell them we'll buy their roof. Mm. I said, all right. Mm. So I FaceTimed Daryl, mm. the wonders of technology. And he's this, he, I'll show you a picture of him sometime. He has white hair. He has a big smile. And he said, well, hi, who are you? Uh. <laughs> and I said, oh, it's me, Courtney, remember? And I said, yeah, we, I, Daryl, we got your email by mistake, but I don't believe there's any mistakes with the Lord. And we're going to buy your roof. Mm. And he just, just tears well up in his eyes. And he goes, I can't, I can't even believe this. This is unbelievable. I thought this was going to be impossible. He said, I've been trying to raise money for this uh, since June. And all the Idaho churches that support him, they said, we wish we could help you, Daryl. We don't have this money right now, maybe next year. And the Lord had put this promise on his heart that this would be done this year. And he said, Lord, I just don't see how this is going to happen. And the Lord said, watch. Watch. Watch what I can do, Daryl. And he said to our kids and our people here at New Hope, watch that he lets us be a part of what he's doing and a part of a destiny of kids in another country we will never know this side of heaven. He said, Daryl, watch. And so Daryl said, could you see if they would put a rush on that? <laughs> I said, I'll see what I can do, Daryl. I'm not very high up in the food chain, but I'll, I'll beg and plead if I have to. So... We sent the money on a Friday. The next Monday, Tuesday, Daryl got that money, mm. which was a miracle in and of itself. One month later, Daryl built that roof. Mm. He said, we have no shortage of people here in the Philippines. They're everywhere. I just needed the tar and the other stuff. Uh, so he got that together. Literally, they had been meeting in a circus tent for over a decade. Mm. And what happened was that tent was beyond repair. Mm. They could no longer meet it anymore. And the Lord had said, Daryl, you need something that's going to be here after you're gone. Mm. You need to build this building. So in faith, he said, we'll do it. So this is a huge, huge building. Mm. 
And he said, Courtney, if we have that roof, it doesn't matter if we have walls and a floor, we'll be able to meet in there. And he kind of shared a bit more with me that every week they feed, in a seven days time, about 10,000 children. And because they had no building, they were feeding them through two, um, I can't remember what I told the kids, two, uh, like basically the back of a semi truck, those kind of just uh, store, like storage crates, basically, that they were bringing the kids in and they were um, feeding them and then they would just sit on the ground outside and if it was raining, you know, oh well, they didn't have any place for them to go. So he was so blessed that they would finally have a place to go. The next day after they finished that roof, and this is something even pastor doesn't know, they had a tropical storm there in the Philippines and over 2,000 people came and sought refuge under that roof. And the Lord knew that that timing was exactly right. You know, nothing is impossible, nothing is a mistake with the Lord. And he is, his plans are going to go forward. If there's no money in Idaho, he will make a mistake and email come uh, to a church in Iowa uh, that I guess was close enough, uh, you know, where he would find the funds. So even cooler than that, uh, okay, is the missions board. Two weeks ago, pastor called uh, on a Sunday night, and he said, find out how much Daryl needs for, uh, <laughs> for walls and a floor. Uh, remember that, pastor? Uh, it's, I'm a little bit more twangy than you, but you get the idea. And you know what? Daryl, I called Daryl back, and he goes, I can't. That's when he told me about the storm. He said, I can't believe we got this roof done in a month. The Lord just made this happen. It's his will. He wants us to go forward. We are reaching so many children. And I said, Daryl, how much would it cost for walls and a floor? He goes, well, he did the math. He gave me his little itemized list. And I talked to Pastor and pastor and the missions board, um, just trying to be wise with our funding and seeing that we wanted to believe in Daryl and bless his work in the Philippines, he said, Terrell, tell Daryl we'll give him $80,000. Mm-hmm. I said, I get to tell him? Mm-hmm. Pastor said, yeah, you get to tell him. That was maybe the highlight of my life, mm-hmm. being able to call a missionary and tell him, we're going to give you $80,000. Mm-hmm. And at first he goes, Courtney? Mm-hmm is that you? Uh, you know, I'm like at home in my jammies with my screaming children. I said, it's me, Daryl. Uh, it's me. Uh, I wanted to call and tell you we're going to get you walls and a floor. Uh, we're going to give you $80,000. He goes, 8000 Praise God. I said, no, Daryl, 80. Uh, he goes, uh, uh, uh. he starts crying. He goes, I can't believe this. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, and you know what we talked about in Kids Church last week and this week? Have joy because God always keeps his promises. Have joy because nothing is impossible with God. And I have to tell you that every kid, they were just enraptured by this, this, the fact that God always keeps his promises. He is unstoppable. He's unbreakable. His promise will not fail, and his word will not return void. And he made that happen through a mistake that we know nothing is a mistake or a coincidence with God to an email that we were never supposed to get for a man that we did not know to further his kingdom in the Philippines. And I cannot wait to see what God does through that money. And knowing Daryl, he's going to zip up that building in about two days. So (laughs) we'll see what he does. And I am so excited that God has partnered us with him because I know that that was no accident. And that was for such a time as this. So thank you so much, New Hope, for giving and for sharing that promise fulfilled with us.